morning, students. Welcome back. This is Dr. Mercado speaking. Welcome to Accounting 2401, Principles of Financial Accounting. And time sure is flying by quickly. We are already ready to get started on week number six, which will run from February the 22nd through February the 28th. Okay. Now, this week is not a conventional week. We're not going to be covering any chapter content. It's more of... Um, Assignments outside out of Cengage. These are more uh, project-based assignments, okay? Now, during this week, you have to complete your comprehensive accounting cycle problem, which you started last week, okay? Now, this problem is in Cengage. Um, so, you, you have all of this week to complete the comprehensive accounting cycle problem. Remember that you have two attempts, and I keep the highest grade earned. If you do not earn a 70% or greater on the first attempt, please utilize the second attempt to try to improve your standing and get a good grade. Okay, so that is the first thing that you need to tackle, the completion of the comprehensive accounting cycle problem in Cengage due on Sunday, February the 28th. Now, during this week, I've also broken out the class into groups so you all can begin working on your group project number one. Okay, uh, in this particular group project, students are going to be working collaboratively to prepare a PowerPoint presentation dealing with accounting principles and forms of business organizations. Now, for this uh, group project, um, you're going to have two weeks to work on it. You have this week, week number six, and it has to be submitted on week number seven. So you have two weeks to work on it. I'm giving you the group distribution. I'm giving you the assignment instructions so you can get ready. I start distributing your work, establish communication with your group members, do whatever you need to do so you can begin work on it. Okay. I don't want to hear, Miss, I didn't have enough time or I didn't get a chance to get with my group members. We are college students, so we need to learn to organize ourselves, organize our time, and make sure we're able to meet our, the deadlines, okay? Let me jump over to um, Blackboard, okay? So, um, let me just, okay, here we go. So, we're going to go into week number six, okay? The first thing you're going to find on week number six is the link to the accounting cycle project. That's the first thing, your priority. You need to get that done and complete. Okay, so you click on that link and it'll take you to Cengage where you need to complete your uh, accounting cycle project. Now, after you're done with your accounting cycle project, you can begin working on your group project, which you're going to be working on for the next two weeks. Okay, now. Um, I've put the class in groups. The group list, I have provided it down here. I have created five groups. Uh, two of those groups have six students in it, and uh, three have five students. Um, it's an unequal distribution, but um, I went ahead and I distributed the best as I could. Uh, these are random distributions. Um, that way, these are the group members that you need to reach out to to establish communication. How are we going to be communicating? Okay, you all need to determine that. Now, how do I communicate with your group members? You might ask yourself. Well, we've got Pronto online chat. You can do that. Or my preferred method is a Blackboard message. So if you go to Blackboard messages, okay, you create a message. You find the groups, the group members that are on your list, wherever they are. You get, you find their name. Once you find your name, you put it, the little arrow here so you can move it to the other side. Whatever the names listed here are the ones that are going to be receiving your email. Okay, so you find your group list, you send a message, you know, you locate your group members, you put the names there, and you put their urgent. Okay, group project. Okay, make it an urgent topic. Okay, I need you to contact me. Okay, and then here you write, "Hello, my name is." Dr. You know, Dr. Mercado, you're on my group. Can we please establish communication? Can you provide me with your cell phone number? Um, you know, uh, so we can create a group or a chat and determine how we're going to be communicating. Okay, whatever is it that works for you. Um, I'm a little bit old school. I'm not very good with technology, but I know you guys are, you know, wonderful with all of these new apps, you know, and FaceTime and WhatsApp and all of these good things that are out there. Use whatever you feel more comfortable with as long as you communicate now something super important okay if a group member reaches out to you why because you know they want to establish communication with their group please be courteous and respond timely okay even though this is an online class you should be logging into blackboard daily just to you know check if there's any updates or whatever uh, might have been posted if you get 
an email or a blackboard message or whatever any type of correspondence from your group members respond timely okay set yourself as a group deadlines okay say okay if i don't res if, if i don't hear back from all of my group members by this day this time then we're moving um without you okay we're gonna work on the project and you're not gonna be included okay it is not fair that some students work on it and others don't and then everybody gets full credit for it it's not fair okay everybody needs to put their part into it and they need to start uh, uh, co contributing to the group projects from day number one okay if a group member does not participate does not collaborate then you know they're not going to be getting the points okay so it's very important that you establish communication with your group members and as a group you begin working on the group project now what does this group project entail okay so in this particular group project um, it's going to allow the students to experience working together in groups yes i know students do not like to work in group projects but guess what when you're out there in the workforce you're gonna work in groups and a lot and you're gonna work with people you don't know people you don't like you know people that you don't understand we have to deal with those obstacles deal with those barriers figure something out and get the project done that's how it happens in the real world that is how it's going to happen in my class okay so in this particular group project a powerpoint presentation is going to be prepared students must, must conduct research must prepare the presentation and they must record audio for the presentation okay a very important audio must be included okay so your group project is due until march the 7th at 11 p.m now these are the criterias or the specifications for the group project okay the powerpoint presentation needs to be between 15 to 18 slides of actual content okay this excludes the cover page and the reference page so on top of the 15 to 18 slides of content i need a cover page uh, which includes all of the group members names and the title of the presentation and i need a reference page this is all of the references utilized in your presentation okay notes need to be added in each of the slides that elaborate on the slides content okay so what do you mean slides okay let me see if i can open uh powerpoint microsoft office let me see powerpoint okay here we go let me open powerpoint just so i can show you what i mean okay so notes okay down here okay so let's say you have a slide here you have information whatever information you have okay what is a business okay whatever it is that you have okay whatever you're gonna put here an image or whatever down here this is where you will be elaborating on the content of the slide okay i don't want you overcrowding the presentation with information okay i don't want you to put everything in here okay i don't want you to type me an essay on the actual slide the actual slides should have key words or phrases Maybe pictures, diagrams, tables, uh, timelines, whatever the case might be. Key information in your slide. And then down here on the notes section, this is where you're going to elaborate. Now in this section, that is where you're going to have your 150 to 250 words per slide. Okay. So for every slide, you're going to have 150 to 250 words. I do count the words. Okay, you don't give me 150 to 250, you're going to get docked. Okay, if you don't meet any, um, all of these requirements, you're going to get docked for all of those requirements. So be very careful, read the instructions carefully, and make sure that you adhere to the instructions. Okay. Okay. So I've explained, this is where you're going to put your notes on the bottom of each slide. Okay. New slide. You put notes on each of the slides down here. This is where I want to see the information on the bottom of your uh, actual slide. 
Okay, now let me go back. So, you're going to, um, like I said, failure to satisfy the requirement will result in lo lost points. Okay, the slides content should include key phrases, points, or information, and your notes section should supplement the information that needs to be explained within each slide. Do not overload your slide with information and simply paste the presentation's content in the notes section. That will not be accepted. So what do I mean by that? Okay, students write information down here, okay, on the actual slide, and then they just copy whatever they have on the slide to the notes, okay? That does not work. The information on the slide will be different than the information on the notes. The information on the slide will be key points and phrases. The information on the notes will be detailed information, okay? Very different information, okay? Uh, your notes should elaborate or supplement the information you are presenting verbally within the actual slide. Okay, Please cite your sources within the notes section of each slide as well as each of the slides. If you obtain information from a source and you're putting it into your presentation, you need to cite your sources. If not, that's con considered plagiarism. Okay, All group members must actively participate in the research preparing the presentation, and delivery of the presentation. All members of the group must participate in recording the section of the presentation you are working on. I will not accept presentations that are missing audio. Okay, So every student needs to work on researching, preparing, and the delivery of the presentation. Okay, When you're delivering your presentation, um, let's say there's five group members um, in your uh, specific group. Um, you're going to introduce, well, first of all, you're going to introduce your group. The first slide needs to be an introductory slide saying, this is group number three and our team members are Juan, Maria, Pedro, Pablo, and Fernanda. Okay? And we're going to be presenting, you know, whatever the title of your presentation is. Okay? And now the first person is going to kick off the presentation. That first person is going to say, Good morning, this is Fernanda, and I'm going to be presenting to you the business types of organizations, okay? She introduces herself. That way I know that whoever is speaking is Fernanda, because I don't know who Fernanda is, because this is an online class, so I haven't had the opportunity to hear your voices before. So, be whenever a new presenter comes in to start presenting their part, they're going to say, uh, well, hello class, um, or hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Francisco speaking, and I'm going to be presenting whatever you're going to be presenting. Okay, that way I know, okay, who's speaking? Well, Francisco is speaking, Fernanda is speaking, Luis is speaking, Maria is speaking. I need to know who is speaking. So please make sure that you introduce yourselves before um, you start giving your information. Okay. A title slide must be included, which include the, groups, the group names of all group members that participated. Keyword, participated. If a group member did not participate, you do not include them in your title slide. Okay, In the title slide, I only want the names of the students that participated in the assignment. A reference page needs to be included as well as in-text in -text citations within the slides and notes section of the PowerPoint for any information obtained from any sources. Cite your sources and then at the end, you should have a reference page. Now this is going to be a uh, you're going to put together all of the references from all of your group members. That reference list, that final reference list, needs to be alphabetized alphabetically. Okay, So make sure that you put the list in alphabetical order and then you upload it into your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, Plagiarism will not be tolerated. Make sure that you paraphrase and that you still, even if you paraphrase, you still need to give credit to that source. Okay. If you're getting the information from somewhere, from the internet, from a book, from a journal article, whatever the case might be, you need to cite your sources. And there, if you don't know how to cite, there's just a lot of information online that will help you on how to cite. Okay. We also have a CLE lab that will help you in case that you want them to review your work, uh, check for grammatical errors, stuff like that. You can contact uh, the CLE office. Um, and they can uh, schedule an appointment and they can look over the information. Okay, Students are encouraged to use statistics, graphs, charts, and images within their presentations. You need to make it dynamic, make the, the viewer of your presentation um, be attracted to the information that you're presenting so that way they can stay, um, you know, 
they can they can stay interested in the topic that you're you're presenting okay we don't want to make it a boring presentation we need to make it a dynamic presentation okay okay so now the question is what are we going to be presenting Ms. Mercado okay these are the requirements this is what each presentation should have included in their presentation okay so the first thing that we have to do is you're going to have to define and explain in detail what a business is okay you're going to explain in detail the forms of business organizations to include a service business a merchandising business and a manufacturing business you're going to provide five examples of each type of business to include a service a merchandising and a manufacturing i want to know if you know the difference between service merchandising and manufacturing okay you're going to explain each of the forms of business entities in detail to include a proprietorship, a partnership, a corporation, and a limited liability company, an LLC. Okay. You're going to identify the strengths and the weaknesses of each of the mentioned forms of business entities, including proprietorship, partnership, corporations, and limited liability companies. Okay. You're going to provide a general overview process for selecting and establishing a proprietorship, partnership, corporation and limited liability company so what does this mean if you're going to open a brand new business okay you're going to open a brand new business how do you determine what kind of entity am i going to open how do you determine if i set up a proprietorship a partnership a corporation or an llc so you have to give me the feedback what is it that we each of these uh types of business entities require of us okay um, and you're going to explain in detail the below principles and the and their importance to financial information. I just don't want the definition. I want to know how are these principles important to the representation of financial information of organizations. This includes consistency, disclosure, faithful representation, materiality, measurement, historical cost, revenue recognition, and expense recognition. And then last but not least, we're going to identify and explain the difference between accrual and cash basis accounting. Okay. So the group project is worth a hundred points. 90 points is the presentation. 10 points is the self and peer evaluation. I will make available to you the self and peer evaluation and uh, the actual location where you're going to be submitting your assignment on week number seven. Okay. So I did not make it available this week because this week all you're going to be doing is getting is getting together with your group members planning the presentation and start working on it next week is where you're going to start uploading your presentation and you're going to be completing your self and peer evaluation okay but just know that you will be evaluating yourself and your group okay um like i mentioned the the, te the instructor is going to provide you with the group distribution list which is uh i've included it below um and only group members that participate in the group assignment will obtain points. Now, something very important. Each group member must complete the self and peer evaluation, which I'm going to make available next week. Okay. If a student fails to submit the self and peer evaluation, they're going to earn a zero for the entire assignment, even if they participated in the project. I need a self and peer evaluation from each and every student. Okay? I don't get one. You get a zero. Okay, so it's very important and you're going to get a zero in the whole assignment. Okay, so to me, the self and peer evaluation is super important because that allows me to, you know, that, that that's confidential information and I get to review what your classmates think of themselves and you, how you all contributed towards the completion of the group project. Okay, uh, so it's very important that each of you submit their own self and peer evaluation. And like I mentioned, I'm going to make that available next week. Okay, please keep all of your group members correspondence in case a student disputes their involvement in the assignment. And I've had this happen. I've had students where all of the students in the or all of the group members say, well, Juan did not participate. But then Juan says, yes, I did. I sent you my part of the assignment on Saturday. Okay, so there's a conflict of information here. I asked Juan, well, can you show me where you send your groups? Uh, you know the information and then the group say well we 
we had been trying to communicate with Juan for 10 days now and Juan never responded. So we worked on his part and we didn't use his information because he never responded to our inquiries. Okay. Just keep all of your correspondence, whether it be text message, WhatsApp, Blackboard, whatever it is it that you use to communicate in case of a dispute, uh, you know, we can have the information available. Okay. Um, I highly encourage students to utilize Blackboard messages to communicate with each other. That way the information is stored within Blackboard. Um, so students are going to have the entire week six and week seven to work on this project. Okay. Now each team must designate one team leader that is going to be responsible for submitting the final presentation next week. Okay. For the actual presentation, I only need one submission per group and you're going to put group number one project group two project. That way I know what group number you're, you're submitting for. Okay. So one submission per group. Okay. Now something very important that I'm going to go back on the, um, that I was just remembering that it happens every semester, um, on the slides. I know a lot of students use, uh, what is it called? Google slides. I think that's what it's called. Okay. I have no preference for whatever is it that you use. And I know Google slides allow students to go into the, the Google share folder, whatever it is, and they can upload their, their slide information. That is wonderful. Okay. But I've had many situations where students record their presentation in Google slides and when they down and when they download it to be submitted, the audio does not get downloaded and they have a lot of issues. Okay. Be very cautious. Okay. Um, when you're doing your recordings that you're going to be saving the recordings. What the majority of my students do, and this is just from my past experience, the feedback that I've gotten from my students is they work on Google, on the Google slides, um, for the actual putting together of the information. Um, they put the PowerPoint presentation together as a group, they schedule time to review it. Now this is a group project. This is an, not an individual project. So if a couple of slides are real good and then the rest of the slides are not so good, your grade is going to be impacted. So I highly recommend students to please, once you're done with your part, you put it together, you schedule some time together and you review each other's work. Okay. And you give constructive criticism. Okay. Okay. This slide, slide number four does not meet the requirements. It does not satisfy what the specific requirement is it doesn't include the 150 words to 200 word word count notes. You give each other feedback, you improve it, you make it better, and then it's done. Once it's done, you download it into Microsoft uh, PowerPoint, into PowerPoint um, and then you record your audio there. Okay. It's it, the students tell me it's just easier to record your audio in PowerPoint. Okay. So, um, it's just, uh, super important. Um, you know, if you're going to record audio in PowerPoint, you're going to go to insert and then we have audio over here and then you can record the audio. Okay. Okay. And then you record the audio. Okay. So, um, and then you can transfer the slide over. Let's say you're going to have a person that's going to be responsible for putting the slides together. They just grab your slide. The audio is embedded in your actual slide and then they just put it together. Okay. Whatever method you use, I'm going to leave it up to you. I just wanted to let you know of the issues students have with recording audio in uh, Google slides. Okay. Be very careful of that. Um, but whatever method you use, just make sure that before you submit the actual presentation to me, that you do take the time to listen and make sure that all of the slides have audio. Okay. Because I don't give extensions. You're already having two full weeks to complete this project. So by the time you submit it to me, it needs to be done complete. Everything needs to be as prescribed per the instructions. Okay. If you need any clarification on any of these items, please let me know. Um, these are the items that need to be addressed in your presentation. Um, you know, the, the requirements, the length requirements, um, you know, every, every, every slide needs to have notes. Um, the presentation needs to have audio, no audio. I will not accept it. Okay. And then these are the group members that you're going to be working with this week. Okay. Establish communication with them through blackboard messages, get their contact information. And then from there you can run with the information and communicate as you please. Okay. 
but that's what's going to be going down on week number six. Okay, we're going to complete the accounting cycle project and then we're going to start working on group project number one. Okay, very important. And please, please communicate with each other promptly. Uh, establish communication, start distributing the work, and start working on your part of the assignment. Okay, um, and this is a group effort. Help each other out. If you see one of your classmates struggling with research or you know how to do specific things on PowerPoint, maybe they're not as technology savvy as you are, please step in and help. This is a collaborative project where you help each other out to get the project done. Okay, so. That is basically it for this week's lecture. Um, I'm here, I'm available. You know, uh, you can text me, you can call me, you can send me a Blackboard message, an email, whatever works for you. Um, I'm available Monday through Friday. Um, you know, this is a, a great way to get to know some of your classmates, establish communication with them, and conduct some research. Practice those research skills because you're gonna be needing them out there in the workforce, okay? So that is basically it. I want to wish you all a wonderful week and until next time, have a great day.